Hello everybody and welcome to Excel video 285. Today I've been working with the group on a lag days pivot table. The difference between the last date of service on the claim and the first date it was billed. Depending on the place of service, their revenue cycle is getting slowed down quite a bit. And what we're trying to do is give them a report to help speed up the revenue cycle and get claims submitted and processed sooner. If your practice would benefit from the same analysis, let's talk. What we're going to do today is take away the manual filters by simply selecting all. Again, they work great if you've got a small list. If you've got a larger list, and I don't have a huge list here, but what I'm going to do is move referring physicians down and put doctor back up there. I've got, oh, 10 or 12 or so uh, referring physicians here. And again, if I had a list of, you know, 100 or 200, it would be even more valuable to use a label filter. But let me show you how they work. From the drop down, instead of checking any of the boxes, we're going to go here to label filters. And from label filters, what we're going to do is let's do begins with. And what begins with is going to do is it's going to say, all right, I'm going to look at every label in here and show me everything that just begins with T. And there they are. That fast, there are the four that begin with T. If we come back and look at label filters again, we can, from here, you can clear the filter here or here. So we'll clear it from there and then let's come back. Look at label filters. You can look for things that equal or don't equal, begins with, doesn't begin with, ends, doesn't end with, contains, doesn't contain. So here's some of the ways you might use some of this stuff. For example, if you're looking for all of your E&M codes, show me everything that starts with 99. Or show me everything that has a 26 modifier, we could do something that contains 26. Now the problem with 26 is you might get CPT codes that have 26 in them too, so maybe you only look at a modifier category or maybe that helps you filter it down. But you see how you could use these type of things to make it work with begins with and ends with and greater uh, and contains. Greater than, less than is going to help us not for text but for other kinds of data that you might have in the row labels. So let's just do one more here. If we want everything, um, let's see, let's just do everything that ends with the letter A. There they are. If you had uh, 10 or 20, if you had 100 or 200, if you had 1,000 or 2,000, it goes pretty darn fast. You just look through those and say, there are the ones you need. And again, these are goofy examples. You wouldn't do anything that ends in A, but you should, could sure do everything that starts with a surgical code or a lab code or all my locations that have this in common. It's a great way to filter based on the label. And again, the label is what's showing here. And that's how label filters work, for both for rows and for columns. If you want to filter based on the, the value that's over here in the values area, you want to use a value filter. We'll do the value filter next time. Thanks for watching.